Good morning, Wigan Worth and Wasp. This is Rosemary Slingberry. May I help you? Oh, what a shame. Well, I'll tell him. Thank you. Bye. Mr. Wasp, I am afraid they can't get it fixed today. They said they're still waiting for that part to come in. Oh, you poor thing. You must be freezing. Out here, it's just the opposite. Hot as blazes. Say, why don't you just pick up your laptop and, and come and sit at my desk for a while? It's, it's nice, and, uh, nice and warm out here. I'll trade places with you. We're not expecting any clients. Oh, well, if somebody comes in, just send them in to me. Mr. Wasp, with your terrible sinus, you should not be sitting in that cold. I am coming right in. Nice and cool in here. Ooh, I'll bet that carpeting is soft. No one to see if I slip off my shoes. Oh, that feels good. Yes, Mr. Wasp. Oh, I'm afraid um, that chair is just too old to adjust for height. Uh, now, if you want it lower, you could just get rid of that uh, cushion I've got there on account of the chair being so hard. Uh, of course, you would want it higher, wouldn't you? I'm afraid you're out of luck. By the way, I do love your view. Makes you feel like you're up in an eagle's nest, doesn't it? Hmm? Oh, is that fluorescent lighting a bit harsh? Yes, I find that too, but as you can see, there's just not much space on my desk for a lamp. Okay, bye. Oh, I do like this adjustable chair. Mr. Wasp, I forgot to bring those financial performance ratios in here with me. Could you just open that second drawer on the left and read me off the figures on the top sheet? Uh, be careful you don't bark your knee on the corner of... Did that hurt? Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? I must do that 20 times a week. Well, never mind. I'll get them later. And say, uh, you wanted two copies of, of that uh, balance sheet, didn't you? Yeah, it's right uh, by your elbow. Uh, Yes, and why don't you just put it in the copy machine? Uh, oh, there's nothing to it. No, no, just uh, put in the number of copies you want. That's right, two. And then uh, press the button for darker and lay the sheet down, face down, and then set it for uh, legal size and you're good to go. Machine isn't working? Uh, well, did you press the start button, Mr. There you go, good for you. Pardon? Which files? ABSCO? Uh, yes, uh, they, uh, that's in the, let's see, the top file drawer next to my desk, right at the front of the drawer. Yes, that's right. Yes, aren't they? Just as tight as they can be. Be careful you don't wrench your back. M Mr. Wasp, what's the matter? I can hardly hear you. Got your tie caught. Oh. Oh, yes, that thing will just snap shut all at once. Well, can you pull it open? No leverage. I know, it's pretty cramped back there. Yes, those drawers are terribly heavy. Uh, well, here's what you do. You take and put your back against the wall, and then um, pull on the drawer, but don't pull too fast. Mr. Wasp, are you there? Ah, yes, because that will tip on you. Well, can you push it back up? I'll come in and help you. Let me just get my shoes on. Well, all right, if you'd rather do it all by yourself, but uh, there's not a thing in the world wrong with getting help when you're getting squashed by a filing cabinet. Oh, you got it back up? Good. Waste level filing cabinets. Oh, that would be a heck of a lot easier. Good idea. I'll check my catalog for prices. You feel better now, Mr. Wasp? You sound kind of cranky. I know just how you feel. I used to go through that a lot. Of course, with me, it was due to the change. Uh, now, I've heard that men go through that, too, right about your age. Uh, and now, what I did when I'd get cranky at home, and I really recommend this, I would take the phone into the bathroom, and then I would call up my friend Sandra. She was going through it, too, at the time. And I'd say, Sandra, I got a cranky alert. And she'd say, all right, let her rip. And I would scream into the phone. 
And she'd say, feel better now, Rose? And well, sure, there are other reasons uh, for being in a bad mood. Work can sometimes get us down, that's true. But uh, honestly, there's nothing wrong with it if you are going through the change, Mr. Wasp. It's a perfectly natural process. Certainly, I'll see if he's in. Just a moment. Mr. Wigginworth, Mr. Wasp would like to talk with you. All right, I'll put you through. You're connected now. Oh my goodness. Sandra, guess what? I think Mr. Wasp has a cranky alert in to Mr. Wigginworth. Isn't that sweet?